Hey guys, so in case you can't tell, well you obviously can tell, I'm not in my bedroom for once. <laughs> uh, I'm at work and I open four days this week, which is way more than I usually do. I've been trying to only work two to three days a week, so that way my tutorials <laughs> don't suffer, uh, like I don't get behind again, but um, some stuff happened and I have to work four days this week and I'm opening all four days. And the problem with me opening all four days is I film in the mornings, in case you don't know. So basically what that means is I can't film all week. Uh, unless I film here and I can't film tutorials here but I've been wanting to film a video catching up with you guys because it has been not a little bit I swear every time after I do a catching up video it's like life's just like nah man we're gonna make it even more interesting so they're not caught up so I thought I would film at work and we, we're gonna loom here I work at a rolled ice cream place that's where I am you can see behind me there's a rolled ice cream machine that's my machine um, it's a Wednesday it should be fairly slow today hopefully fingers crossed um, it'll be slow and yeah so I'm just gonna work basically the morning shifts are the easy shifts uh, you don't get too many customers and my dad lets us do whatever the heck we want because my dad owns the shop as long as we um, are paying attention to the customers everything's clean he doesn't care and he hasn't like run any pro into any problems with me uh, like leaving the shop dirty because I'm doing stuff so he lets me do whatever I want so <laughs> I already have almost done everything for opening I'm just waiting to cut fruit but it's defrosting over there because it needs to defrost a bit because we use frozen fruit um, but yeah so anyways I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the shop that way you can see where I work so I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the shop um, so that's what I see out the window and basically right now I'm standing behind the register so this is our register yeah we use these things to take the orders so we have like the names of all the ice creams and that but it's not a big shop so I can give you a quick tour right now we have it decorated for the 4th of July still um, and we have this cereal because it's like a special for the whole month of July that you can do in, uh, yeah, you can put it in your ice cream basically. And yeah, so this is our menu. I'm trying not to show you the logo, but yeah, all our ice creams. It's looking good. And my dad started this, which is basically he has a banana split. He has drinks now and um, paletas as he says it. I said that probably so white um and then this is the lobby so we have this mural um it says the name up there but i'm not going to show you the name and basically tables chairs table we have a chair and table chair and a bench outside um yeah it's not too much we also have really tall plexiglass because of the covid um i do wear a mask when customers come in but right now no one's in here so i don't have to wear a mask and then back here we have this is just like a bunch of stuff and then we have all our toppings so we have like all our toppings and we have all sorts of things and I already restocked everything for today so everything's good all of our toppings um, we have a couple extra fried uh, they're called fried ice cream machines um, we have a couple extras this is one it's only me today so I have this one on and then we have this one uh, sometimes we do have three people working uh, yeah, and then this is where we have all our fruit. This is literally gonna be like the quickest tour. Um, my dad has this so you can like dip the paletta things, these, these guys, in chocolate, but I can't figure out how to turn this on. We barely started doing these this Saturday, and I messaged him and he hasn't gotten back to me, so I honestly don't know. I know how to dip them, but I don't know how to turn this on. And until he replies, I can't turn it on, so yeah. But we got all these things. And then back here, so that's like one side. And then if you turn to this side, we have all of our extra topping stuff up here. And then there's gloves. Um, we have some cups for the drinks. I'm defrosting that fruit. Uh, I still have to cut fruit because I'm the opener, but they're frozen. So like I said, they're like bricks right now. So we have that. Our cups, I think my dad did red this month also for the 4th of July, so that's cool. Um, yeah, and then we have our cleaning stuff down there, and then the fridge is just like loads of extra things, and then this side's just all the ice creams, and we have a lot of cool flavors. And then the very last thing is we just have back here, which is basically just stuff and like space. So yeah, that's the shop. Okay, so I finished all my opening duties, so we can loom now. Uh, I already had two customers that came in. I'm not gonna film me with the customers. I own a lot of Tsum Tsums and I thought it'd be cute to make this pair. Um, I'm gonna be making Russell the day. I thought that this could be fun. Oh my god, did I remember black? No, I did. I did. Little Tsum. So we're gonna be making him today. 
Yeah, and I'll be making him later. You'll, I'll probably post them together, but yeah. So, I brought all my bands. And I believe I brought a hook in the front pouch. Yeah, usually what I do at work is I'll just like draw or like um, do whatever I want, but I have music playing, but because I'm filming for YouTube, I have to keep pausing it. I'm just making sure no one's coming in, but so I just wanted to do a video catching up. I wanted to do this at my house, like I said, at home, but it's been a busy week. Also, I think I'm gonna have some customers. They look like my time a customer. I'm just gonna wait to see if they start walking over. Oh yeah, they're totally coming here. Okay, so that was a bit of a long rush. Um, <laughs> I'm so sweaty. Um, so yeah, I just had a rush for like an hour. I was literally about to sit down to loom like finally and then people came in on stuff for an hour. So there was an incident. I accidentally overfilled a cup with this one. So now we have to clean before we loom. I also have to wipe all those tables out there because they were all full of people. <sighs> But I did get a dollar tip, so that's good, yeah. Okay, so a bit of a weird angle, but I think I'm gonna have to leave it like this because um, this is the only way I couldn't get my apron, and I don't want to have to edit out my apron that says where I work. Yeah, everyone just finally left, and I can basically film because no one's in here again. I don't know if you were expecting like looming at work, the scandal is actually just like looming at work just because my boss let me, lets me loom at work. No scandal. <laughs> but like I said, I thought I could update you guys on a couple things. <laughs> Work's been good today though. It was a little busier. And in case you're rolling, if rolling ice cream is like a workout, it is. <laughs> like sometimes after work, my shoulders will hurt and like my lower back. I feel old after work. Yeah, working here is fun. The only downside to working here is when it gets busy, it gets busy. And it's going to be like the worst shift of your life. Because rolling ice cream nonstop for like say like five hours at a time is like torture. But you know, there's some upsides to this job, like it's slower in the winter. So it's like if you put up with like the hectic summer months, you kinda get a break in the winter. So yeah, I, I like working here. Uh, my dad's a really good boss. Uh, all my coworkers like him as a boss too. I'm not just biased because I'm his daughter. I don't know if I told you in the last video that I have a job, but I do have a job. In case that's obvious. Uh, it doesn't really interfere with my schedule that much because I work 15 hours per week, which is usually three days. So usually I have four days to like film and do other things. But the past two weeks, um, so many coworkers, one of them got sick. Then one of them's house got flooded with water because it was raining so much. And like all these are horrible situations, but it's the reason I was gone a lot. Um, and then one of them's grandma died. Yeah. And it's just been, and then they keep going on vacation. So I keep covering shifts and like I work 20 hours this week, which is a day more than I would like. Um, and, yeah. um, and the other thing that changed from that video, I believe I mentioned that things should be slowing down and I'll be going to school. Well, that changed as well. Um, so I changed my mind about going to school. I was supposed to go to my local university and basically what happened was I decided I didn't want to go there anymore. I had been procrastinating doing this for a while but one of my old teachers, he's my teacher from drawing, I, I, I loved him as a teacher so I took drawing one, drawing two, I took art history with him and then I took painting one with him and I loved him, he was an amazing teacher. Um, he did scare me and I'm gonna actually do a video that'll probably come out after this one that's gonna show all the work I did in my community college so if you're interested in that, that video is probably going to be like an hour long, so I'm sorry, but yeah. And I was like, I could text him and ask him, but the thing is, I'm not his student anymore, so I'm like, is he going to think it's weird? I have his phone number though, because he used to have us call him, um, so we could like critique our assignments and stuff. I was so worried, okay? Like, you have no idea. I was like, I had, I had a reply ready for any of the ways he could have responded to my text. So basically I texted him like, hi, um, I know, like, I have an art question. I think this is how I said it. Um, so I've been thinking about, I think I said something like, I've been thinking about colleges. I have a question. Can I ask you kind of thing? Um, this is blah, blah, blah from your drawing blah, 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 class, you know, that just in case he forgot who I was. <laughs> and then I just, and he texted back and he was like, yeah, sure. What's your class question? Just cause you're not my student anymore. Doesn't change anything. And when I told you, I was so relieved. Like, I was relieved <laughs> because I was so worried. And I've also been thinking about the, like, I always think it's the door noise and it's like the fridge doing something back there. Not the point, I got interrupted. But he told me if you, I wanted his honest, honest opinion. 
he would not consider it an option, which answered basically all my questions, <laughs> which is basically I shouldn't go there. So he told me that, and then basically for three hours and the rest of my shift at work, he was texting me telling me like, no, if you're going to do this, you better go for it, you better do it. You're going to apply to art schools now, and remember, be aggressive. Like, he told me so much, and he was giving me so much advice, and it was just like kind of a relief, like such a big relief, because I have been figuring out if I, like how I would apply to colleges and stuff alone, and now I know I can ask him questions. He's like so helpful. I know he doesn't know about this channel, but if you ever find this one day, thank you. Um, so basically what that means now is I'm not going to school in the fall. <laughs> I'm taking another whole year off. And I say another whole year, I've taken a semester off because of COVID. I wasn't about to go to school with COVID, like heck no, I could barely focus online. And I'm going to be making an art portfolio. And I don't know if this is more work than le <laughs> less work than if I go to school because basically I need to make 20 art pieces by March and it is July, which I mean, I have some time. So I need to get started on that right away. Um, I should have started on it already because it has been two weeks since I texted my professor and yeah, I haven't really done anything. Okay, basically what happened is my dad is asking me if I could redo the logo for this ice cream shop as well as a food truck he's making. So I'm trying to finish those logos these two weeks, but I've been working so it's like ugh. And then I was trying to catch up on tutorials because of the Rainbow Center thing, I was behind on tutorials and it was just... I feel like I'm so behind on everything. I'm so basically what this means for this channel, kind of, sort of, is nothing's really going to change here. Like, you're still going to get tutorials, you're still going to get videos. What is going to change is, I'm not going to be on my phone as much. Like, I need to focus, and that basically means me, like, yeeting my phone across the room so I don't touch it. Well, like, if you send me a text and I take you, <laughs> I take a week to get back to you, I'm so sorry, but that's probably how it's just gonna be for a while. I wish I could interact with the Loom community more, but it's basically kind of coming down to either I can spend my time online interacting with everybody or I can spend my time on tutorials. And I know you guys would probably prefer, tutori prefer tutorials to me replying to everybody. Now, also, this doesn't mean I'm not looming anymore because I love looming and I loom a lot in my free time. In fact, whenever I'm doing like drawings and stuff, I always loom at the night, like in the night on the couch. So I'm probably still going to be looming and posting. It's just I'm not going to be able to get back to you as quickly. Or maybe if you make something online, I'm just going to have to like the post. I can't post it on my story all the time. I just don't want to seem rude or like I'm not appreciating any of you guys. I hate the noise that fridge makes, by the way. So basically, I just don't want you guys to think I'm rude if I'm not replying to you. I'm actually really excited to apply to art schools. I mean, it's also kind of scary because I've lived in this town my whole life, but I would love to go somewhere else. Mainly, like, I wish... Um, I have a feeling my parents also think I'm just trying to leave, but it's not the case at all. I actually really wish that my like the school in the town would have been like perfect and I could have just gone there, but sadly... Um, they aren't that great at art and it's much better if I go somewhere else and I really do want to be really amazing at art just for myself. I also think I'm going to be filming making my portfolio so there might you may get some videos of me making my portfolio. A lot more art videos definitely on this channel. Um, I also might do more lifey videos. I don't know. Probably a lot more art videos. Just like the ones in between tutorials. Has anything else really been going on with me? No. I know another thing I'm going to try to talk my dad into. Okay so I'm going to try to see if I can talk him into. Well my mom had this idea which is because there's actually a, quite a few art majors at my work. I think there's like three of us, maybe four. And my mom, and I think it's a good idea to turn that wall behind me because it's so blank into basically like an employee art wall. I think that'll be amazing. So maybe I can talk my dad into doing that. But yeah. So I think that's everything I wanted to catch you up on. I'm excited slash scared to apply to art school, but I know it's what I should be doing. So even though I'm scared, I'm going to do it anyways because that's what I should do. So. And so I think that's everything I wanted to say. Um, I just wanted to give you guys this update and we're looming at work. Um, so I'm going to finish this guy. I think I'm going to go off camera. I don't really have anything else to talk about and I don't want this video to be ridiculously long. Um, I'm also thinking, let me know if you guys think this is a good idea of doing like a week in my life video so you, can, you guys can kind of see what I do weekly. Let me know if you want a video like that. But yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to wait for customers and I'm going to loom. I'll update you if anything interesting happens before the end of my shift, but so far we have we have about an hour left and I'm praying it stays dead because my arms are tired. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I'm debating if I should scoot his eyes closer because look at this man's eyes, okay? And then look at this guy's eyes. Like they're way too far apart. I think I'm gonna have to scoot him closer. Also, there's only an hour left in my shift, and I think I'm gonna have to take a quick break from looming because 
Um, my sister gets mad at me if I don't wash the dishes, even though we're not supposed to wash the dishes. Um, I don't have many dishes. I just have a knife and cutting board from earlier. I also still have bands on my fingers, you can see. But I just have those jars and then the cutting board. But yeah, I'm, the, the opener is not supposed to wash the dishes, but my sister gets mad at me if I don't wash the dishes. And she's coming after me, and I don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to wash the dishes probably. Okay, so it is a different day. Um, in case you can't tell, the outfit switched. Um, basically, it got really busy the last hour of my shift and I didn't get a chance to film the outro and basically I was just rolling ice creams the whole time so nothing interesting really happened. Um, but anyways, I thought I would wrap up this video. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video of seeing me at work. I'll probably have to do a part two of this where I actually loom more. I don't know why that Wednesday was so busy. I even filmed on a Wednesday because Wednesdays usually aren't busy but yesterday was so busy. I got $8 in cash chips so it's pretty good. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so we'll probably have to do a part two of this, but I just want to give you guys an update on what's going on with me because I, I don't know, I've been kind of gone. Well, gone, but not gone. Yeah, so subscribe if you have some more videos from me. Uh, like I said, maybe we'll have a Lumi War part two, so if you're interested in that. Also, this video should be up before my giveaway ends, so the giveaway for bands, there's a whole video on it. It's on my channel, it ends July 31st, so you have until then to enter, and yeah. There's a lot of good entries and it's going to be so hard to choose, so I've been enjoying seeing them all. So I'm going to go get back to work and probably start editing this video. Yeah, I don't think I really have anything else to say, so I hope you enjoyed this video, but I think that's it, and I'll see you soon, probably in a tutorial. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>